Hi everyone, I'm Brooke Silva Braga. Thanks for joining us. It's Monday morning now in Thailand and rescuers there are about to start their second trip into the cave where a youth soccer team and their coach has been stranded for more than two weeks. Rescuers have already pulled four people out of the cave. One was airlifted to the hospital in the nearby city of Chiang Rai for medical evaluation. The others were taken by ambulance. Now nine members of the team are still stuck in that cave. Officials are racing against both the clock and the water because more rain is in the forecast. This is the start of the rainy season in Thailand. Rescue crews say it may take up to four more days to get everybody out. CBS News correspondent Ben Tracy is in uh, Chiang Rai tracking the latest developments. He joins us now from outside the hospital where those four uh, members of the team were taken. Ben, what do we know about their condition? Well, we don't know much about their condition, except that they did arrive here at the hospital uh, late last night. Four people rescued from the cave. One interesting update, though, we are reading in Thai uh, media this morning that they're saying that one of the people that was rescued from the cave yesterday was actually the 25-year-old coach. So that would make three boys who were rescued plus the coach. That may seem odd that the coach was one of the first people to come out, but we have been told for days now that he was in perhaps the worst shape of anyone inside. And that's because early on in this ordeal, apparently he gave the boys all the food and water that he had on him when they first went into the cave before they were found by the rescuers. So he apparently had been suffering from malnutrition and uh, was not in good shape. So uh, that appears that he is one of the people who has come out. In terms of their condition, those boys uh, and the coach will now be evaluated here at this hospital for the next three to five days. This is also where the young boys will be reunited with their families because when they came out of the cave, uh, there was very little time. From the, the minute they walked out of the cave to when they got on those helicopters was less than two minutes. So their families have not been able to spend much time with them. That will now happen here at the hospital. Brooke?